Huh? Another one. Huh? And another one. Ladies and gentlemen, today we will be fighting the second daughter of Lyrian, Regan. Regan can be found in the northeastern part of East Anglia and has a power requirement of 160. Walsham Creek, that's the location where you will find a hanging corpse, interact with it and it will trigger the cutscene. Not for yours, unless you tempt me. Liar, liar, liar! You will join them, all the unkind dead. Now I open the scars of my heart. Seder, you sing troll. Breathe deeply. Watch as I become smoke, and listen as I break your now, bones. Now, guys, Regan will attack at a frightening pace with her twin blades and all her attacks are accompanied by a delayed mirror image that can also hurt you so be careful of those so the easier way to deal damage to her is by baiting out the moves that you can easily parry like this one right here this is an easy move to parry you can see she stumbles backward after a parry like her sister go and deal some damage to her that's it that's what I was looking for all along the fight so you can see me trying to just dodge all of her attacks like this crab attack all her runic attacks I was just dodging them and trying to bait out that one single move which I can parry and deal some damage to her if you are too under leveled and you cannot even take a single blow from her then using the harpoon impalement the ability that I showcased in the start of the video it's a very good ability to shave off huge chunks of HP from her just make sure that if you are having hard time in phase 1 you should at least have 2 to 3 full adrenaline points for that ability in phase 2 as in phase 2 this fight get even harder so the best way to use that would be by using one harpoon impalement then just parry her regenerate that adrenaline bar then using it again and doing this again and again you can just spam it out in phase two you can also see that she goes into a guard mode after you land a certain number of hits make sure that you don't get greedy as you can see she just parried me over there if you are low on stamina it can put you in a huge long animation of being parried so be careful now it's time for phase 2 now my blood screams <laughs> a scream i shall quiet a greater darkness fuels my rage Spirit of my father's rage, fill me! So in her face to this direct grab attack that she just did, that's the only new move. Other than that, all her moves are the same, except for the fact that she does her charge grab attack a lot often in this phase. And wherever her mirror images go, it leaves a uh, fire trail behind it, so which deals a lot of fire damage. So make sure you have fire resistance really equipped. The easier way to dodge this charge attack is by initially dodging to one side and then dodging the mirror images back to the other side like left and go right. That way you will also have a small window where you can land a few hits on her. And if you are, it's getting too much annoying you can just use all your harpoon impalement as it's a very cool ability. And it doesn't even require you uh, to do anything. Like it's like just uh, lock onto her and press a button. Boom. A chunk of her HP is gone. I 
I found her so long ago just to see all her move sets. Other than that, it's a very easy fight. Oh, if you don't have Harpoon Impairment, you can get it in Venonas. It's very close to the starting area. Okay, now defeating her gets you towards Battle Plate and her Dagger. That's a quest item. I will just showcase the stats of her towards Battle Plate. With this, we have slain Regan, Lord of Lyrian. You also get two skill points for slaying her. 